When Guy Garcia of Ethnofacts realized that there was a more accurate way to measure multiculturalism in America, he was shocked to find out that according to his measurements, the United States is already at the tipping point of becoming a multicultural minority-majority nation. The numbers make it irrefutable. We're living the largest demographic change in history. What has happened over time is the awareness that um, almost 100% of the growth in some cases for any business is coming from Hispanics and other multicultural groups. They're not really sure what to do about it. They're not sure how to understand or interpret. You know, they're, they're challenged with making sense out of this information. What are the implications? Cultural, social, economic. These are all categories that we examine through data. The new mainstream is the combination of great demographic changes, explosions in the populations of African Americans, Asians, and Latinos, even to a certain extent women, young people, LGBT. So one of the recent things we did that got a lot of uh, attention was called the Culture Edge Countdown Clock. And we announced uh, a new threshold, uh, a tipping point of the United States as a multicultural majority country. According to the U.S. Census, the United States will become a multicultural majority nation in 2042. What we did with the Culture Edge Inter-Ethnic Proximity Index is include people who, including non-Hispanic whites, who cohabitate with people of other races and ethnicities, who live in areas with a high density and proximity to these people. So we put those numbers together and it actually added up to 49.999%, the tipping point um, that we announced in Times Square was on August 22nd of this year. So the definition of what is American is, is changing. 110 million African Americans, Asians, and Hispanics with buying power that exceeds $2 trillion. The truth is, is that things are gonna change numerically. And we know that with that change, there comes power shift. We have been part of this country for decades, for centuries. What we're saying is that something is going to change by the numbers demographically. The question is the, the politics and the, and the power change, how we as Latinos decide to get involved politically, who we're electing, what products we're buying, what we're choosing to support. That is the story of the future of our country right now. Today, already, one in three Americans are multicultural. When you look at the population under 18, it's already closer to a one-to-one -one ratio. The powers of be own the numbers. We couldn't argue. Guess what? Now we can. This is a big deal. We can also own the numbers. Once you own the numbers, you can, you can actually shape the narrative. Once you can shape the narrative, you can direct the conversation. Some people will be upset. Some people will push back. Some people will try to cover this up, ignore it, you name it. Um, but uh, honestly, it's a small uh, and increasingly shrinking part of the population. They're on the wrong side of the history, and every day that goes by, uh, that's more true.